The responsibility mothers have today has never required more vigilance. More than at any time in the history of the world, we need mothers who know. When mothers know who they are, who God is, and have made covenants with Him, they will have great power and influence for good on their children. Mothers who know desire to bear children. In the culture of the gospel, we still believe in having children. In the eternal perspective, children, not possessions, not position, not prestige, are our greatest jewels. Faithful daughters of God desire children. There is eternal influence and power in motherhood. Mothers who know honor sacred ordinances and covenants. I have visited sacrament meetings in some of the poorest places on the earth where mothers have dressed with great care in their Sunday best despite walking for miles on dusty streets and using worn-out public transportation. They bring daughters in clean and iron dresses with hair brushed to perfection. Their sons wear white shirts and ties and have missionary haircuts. These mothers know they are going to sacrament meeting where covenants are renewed. These mothers have made and honored temple covenants. They know that if they are not pointing their children to the temple, they are not pointing them toward desired eternal goals. These mothers have influence and power. Mothers who know are nurturers. To nurture means to cultivate, care for, and make grow. Therefore, mothers who know create a climate for spiritual and temporal growth in their homes. Another word for nurturing is homemaking. Home is where women have the most power and influence. Nurturing mothers are knowledgeable. But all the education women attain will avail them nothing if they do not have the skill to make a home that creates a climate for spiritual growth. Growth happens best in a house of order, and women should pattern their homes after the Lord's house. Nurturing requires organization, patience, love, and work. Helping growth occur through nurturing is truly a powerful and influential role bestowed on women. Mothers who know are leaders. Mothers who know build children into future leaders and are the primary examples of what leaders look like. These wise mothers who know are selective about their own activities and involvement to conserve their limited strength in order to maximize their influence where it matters most. Mothers who know are always teachers. 
A well-taught friend told me that he did not learn anything at church that he had not already learned at home. That is influence. That is power. Mothers who know do less. They allow less media in their homes, less distraction, less activity that draws their children away from their home. Mothers who know are willing to live on less and consume less of the world's goods in order to spend more time with their children, more time eating together, more time working together, more time reading together, more time talking, laughing, singing, and exemplifying. These mothers choose carefully and do not try to choose it all. Their goal is to prepare a rising generation of children who will take the gospel of Jesus Christ into the entire world. That is influence. That is power. Who will prepare this righteous generation of sons and daughters? Latter-day Saint women will do this. Women who know and love the Lord and bear testimony of Him. Women who are strong and immovable, who do not give up during difficult and discouraging times. Latter-day Saint women should excel at upholding, nourishing, and protecting families. I have every confidence that our women will do this and will come to be known as mothers who knew. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.